بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone I'm your English teacher today inshallah Today we are gonna take reading and writing for the second level of the secondary stage Our lesson today about, uh, will be about reading and writing <coughs> Okay, go to your book Flying High 2, page 71 Page 71. Today our objectives will be, inshallah, exposing or develop, develop the unit topic, crime and the law, uh, expose a student to uh, extended form of writing, written, teach, uh, develop listening, uh, sorry, develop writing skills and reading skills. These are our objectives today. Now, we will read this text, then we will answer some questions. Read the text below. Flying High conducted a rare interview with a senior interpol officer. For security reasons, we, call, we will call him John. Now, this is the interview. Interview your, uh, interview your, have you always worked for the interval, Joan? No, I haven't. What did you do before that? I started my career in law enforcement as an ordinary police officer in England 30 years ago. Had you always wanted to be a policeman? Yes, always. So how long have you been working for interval? About 20 years now. Nowadays, Interpol stores all its information on a huge database. How did you use to store the information now? Move to the second part. In manual vial, files in enormous archives, it could take ages to find the information. Now we can respond to queries from anywhere in the world in second. You once described your position as the ultimate techno police officer's job. Why did uh, why did say that? Why did you say that? Because it is. At the touch of a keyboard, I have access to the records of millions of pieces of information, 2.3 million stolen motor vehicles alone. Then there are the stolen works of art, missing persons, unidentified uh, bodies, organized crime gangs, and so on. So you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. It's the most interesting job I can imagine. So, after reading this dialogue between Joan, uh, a police officer working with the Interpol, and the interviewer, uh, interviewer, let's try to answer these questions. <coughs> so, Joan is a <coughs> police officer working with the Interpol. Interpol. First of all, what do you know about the Interpol? Did you hear about this name or word before? Interpol? Okay. After you have read the reading text or the uh, previous text, what do you think Interpol is? The second question is, where does the Interpol store all the information? Interpol has millions of inter information about stolen cars, and divided bodies, crimes, gang, and so on. Where does they keep these, uh, all of these information? The third question, does John enjoy his work with the Interpol? Okay, what do you think? Does he enjoy his work or not with the Interpol? 
he was an ordinary police officer. Then he joined the Interpol. Let's check the answer. Number one, what do you know about the Interpol? This is the definition of Interpol from their, their website. Our full name is the International Criminal Police Organization, and we are an intergovernmental governmental organization. We have 194 member countries, and we help police in all of them to work together to make the world a safer place. So it's an international criminal police organization. It's um, a kind of police, but uh, in all over the world. So any crime happens in the United States and the doer of the crime or the thief or the murderer is living in France and he's had, had escaped to France. We can bring him back to America or to the United States and try to uh, 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 bring him by the Interpol because it's an international criminal police organization. The members of the Interpol are 194 country, uh, countries around the world. This is the meaning of Interpol. So now all of us knows the meaning, uh, know the meaning of Interpol. Number two, the question, the second question, where does the Interpol store all the information? According to the passage, John said, the Interpol stores all its information on a huge database, in a huge database, basis, okay? But uh, in the past, how did they store their information? In a huge database or what? They used to use what? Manual files, okay? In enormous archives, okay? Archives. So, in the past, they used manual paper files. Now, they use the technical ways. They has a huge data basis. The third question, does he, Joan, enjoy his work with the Interpol? So he's a police officer with the Interpol, with the International Organiza Police Organization. Yes, he does. He said at the last, uh, at, or, or at the end of the interview, he said that it's the most interesting job I can imagine. He's happy with his job. It's interesting job. It's an interesting job. Yes, now move on to the writing. Write two or three paragraphs about one of the following titles. Here you have two titles. I want you to write two or three paragraphs as much as you can using the, all the new words and vocabulary you have uh, uh, new in this unit. The first one, portrait of an international law enforcement officer like Joan. 20 here, this is a beginning for you. 20 years ago, Robert tried to complete this first line or the first sentence beginning of the line. The second one, information storage at Interpol. Until the 1980s, Interpol used what? Yes, use your imagination or search in the Google in Google and try to write two or three paragraphs about one of the two topics here or the titles. Here, uh, I will help you with the first one a little. I will write a few sentences. 20 years ago, Robert was an officer at Paris Police Department. At the same time, someone has robbed the Louvre Museum. A famous painting was being robbed. The mayor of the city was very upset. Robert was in charge to catch the thief. 
and to find the painting. Robert worked with the interval. The interval gave Robert all the information from their databases about all the possible suspects. Try to complete as the, uh, and take this as a model for you. Okay, I want you to complete like this paragraph. I am giving you an example. Don't stick to my uh, writing. Try to write your own paragraphs, okay? That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed our class. Thank you and see you again, inshallah.